Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am undecorating all of my Halloween decor and then I'm going to kind of go in and deep clean the whole house and get ready for all of my Christmas videos that I have planned for you guys. You guys might be a little confused. My hair is dark. Um, I dyed it a couple of days ago and I love it and I'm excited to rock the brown hair for a little bit. But I have some really exciting Christmas videos planned. I know if you guys follow me on Instagram, I said I was gonna be doing two videos. I'm actually going to be doing three. Um, I decided to completely redo my coffee bar. I'm waiting for the table to get here. Um, actually, when you watch this video, it will probably, hopefully already be here. But that will be next Thursday's video. And then I am going to do like my main Christmas clean and decorate with me on Thanksgiving. I hope that you guys will still watch. I know it's gonna be a busy day. And then I'm going to do the Christmas tree the weekend after Thanksgiving. So that will go up probably the first week of December. I don't wanna put my tree up too early. Our living room's a little small and it just takes up a lot of space. And I know a lot of you get real trees. So I'm really excited to bring you guys this series and we're just gonna get started today. I'm gonna to first take down all of the Halloween decor get that into the dining room here and then I will put that all away and then I will get to the cleaning. So while I am undecorating all of the Halloween decor, I wanted to talk with you guys about somebody who really motivates me and one of my favorite people here on YouTube, my friend Tristina. She is actually one of my oldest YouTube friends that I ever made through this platform. I remember we both connected when we each had like 500 subscribers and we instantly became friends and chat often through Instagram. And she is actually the only YouTube friend of mine that I am friends with on Facebook. So you know it's real when it's Facebook official. But Tristina is a mama to two little boys and she does a ton of cleaning motivation videos. She has tons of decor inspiration on her channel and she does some really awesome cooking videos, which I'm super jealous about. Everything she makes always looks so good. So if you guys like that type of content, I know that you're gonna love her. She is so sweet and down to earth and her personality is magnetic. I am gonna leave all of Tristina's information down below. She is doing the same type of video that I'm doing today. So make sure when you're done watching this video, you go check out her channel and let her know that I sent you. You guys will not regret it. I've been looking for a mirror. And I think I find it in your eyes. She's been looking for So now that the Halloween decor has all made its way into the office area, I am going to organize it and put it back into this green bin and just get it all put away nicely so that way for next season it's not a big hot mess. And under the light. She's been looking 
now I'm gonna move up into the master bedroom and bathroom. I'm gonna start by making my bed, getting that all nice and done, and then you'll see me moving into the master bathroom. So here I'm just going to focus on doing a quick clean. I'm not going to do showers or tubs in this video. So I am just going to do the countertops, put all of that stuff away, and then I will clean the mirror here with my Jaws glass cleaner and get it all nice and shiny. Don't talk about it like you're crazy. You know damn well I can't replace you. Just say what? Say what you mean, don't waste your time being mad at me Say what, say what you mean, say what you mean And you'll get, get what you need, get what you need once I am done with that, I am going to spray down my countertops with this Mela Luca disinfectant spray. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with this brand, they are actually an MLM company. Don't worry, I'm not joining the company or anything, but a friend of mine on Facebook actually recommended their products to me, and I have fallen in love, you guys. I absolutely love their products. They're all natural, so you don't have to worry about any harsh chemicals. They're safe for kids and pets, and not only that, they do a really good job of cleaning. So if you're interested, let me know. I will hook you up with my girl, but I am just going to let that sit. I'll do the same for the toilet, and then I'll go back to the countertops once everything has sat for a little bit. I'll wipe those all down, and then I will clean the toilet. To finish off upstairs today, I am going to vacuum and mop the bathroom. And then once I'm done doing that, I will move back into the bedroom and vacuum in there. And I swear there is nothing better than when your bedroom is clean, but also the master bathroom. I love coming upstairs after a long day and knowing that both of those spaces are nice and clean. It just makes it so much more enjoyable. Yeah, I got you, I got you, I got you. What I do, what I do is try to give you more than words What I say, when I say I quit, it's only cause it hurts We got play, we got places we can go to figure out What we've done, what we need, what to do Yeah, I got you, I got you, I got you Been holding my breath, but it's hard when I am 
So now I'm gonna bring down this basket and start a load of laundry. And again, I have been using those Mela Luca products for my laundry and they smell so good. It comes in like a four pack, so you can pick whether or not you want fabric softener liquid or dryer sheets, and then you can pick whether or not you want the Oxy to be liquid or powder tablets, and then you can choose your laundry detergent scent and boost scent. So I chose Mountain Fresh, and y'all, this stuff smells so good. Even my husband noticed a difference with the way that the laundry smelled and felt. And with a laundry detergent, you also get a scent booster, which helps with the smell as well. I definitely have noticed a change in my clothing. Things feel softer, they smell a lot better, and I know that they're safe for the kids and their skin. They both do have really sensitive skin. And overall, I am just loving doing laundry with these products. So I am just gonna start a load of laundry here and then I will move on to the rest of the cleaning. Back to So now I am going to move into the living room. I'm just going to quickly pick up all of the stuff in here. This is pretty much what my living room looks like every day. Sometimes it's worse, sometimes it's a little bit better. It just really depends on the day. I will be vacuuming down the couch and then I am just going to take that same brand that I had mentioned before. It's their Tough and Tender Multi-Purpose Cleaner. I'm going to use that to wipe down the TV stand and then I will vacuum the rug in here and make the couch and that will finish off the living room. Room. All right, so I forgot to film it, but I moved the sign that was right here to this wall. Um, I like it for now. It's definitely not big enough, I think, to fill the wall because there's just like a lot of empty space. Um, but if you guys haven't been following me for that long, I used to have floating shelves up here, but I didn't like the way that they looked. But now I'm thinking about getting just one big long shelf to go up here. I'm not really sure that or I'm gonna find like a really big picture just to fill this whole spot, but I don't know. I don't really know what to put here. So I'm gonna ask you guys, what do you think should go in this little area? And if you don't think I should put anything there, let me know that too. Um, this is just kind of a temporary setup before I start decorating for Christmas, but for now, it will do. Moving into the kitchen, I feel like I always start out with dishes. If I'm being honest, I pretty much always have a sink full of dishes. I am definitely somebody who procrastinates when it comes to dishes. I hate doing them. They're never ending. And so they tend to pile up, but that is okay. So I'm just gonna get those all nice and cleaned up and then I will move on to the rest of the kitchen. One of us, one of us gotta say
Here I am just going to straighten up the countertops and get some things put away, mainly because I wanted to make some room on my counters because I decided to declutter the bottom of this cabinet that you guys will see. It has just become really cluttered and kind of a collect-all in a second junk drawer. I don't know what compelled me to start throwing things up here or who told me that was okay, but it has just been happening. And so I wanted just to get that all nice and organized again and put everything back into their place. Once that is all nice and organized, I am going to take that Tough and Tender multi-purpose cleaner. I'm going to wipe down all of the countertops and our kitchen table and just get everything looking nice and clean in here. And then the last thing that I'm going to do in the kitchen today is sweep and mop.
All right, you'll probably hear my kids in the background. They're probably fighting or singing or something, but I wanted to share with you guys a few things that I got from Hobby Lobby this year for Christmas, just to kind of kickstart Christmas cheer on my channel and get everybody ready and excited for Christmas. Now, this is my third year decorating on YouTube and my fourth year decorating in general. So I have a pretty large collection for the most part, but I do like to get a few things every year to kind of freshen up. My style tends to change each season and I primarily stick to farmhouse decor, but sometimes I like to do a different theme if that makes sense. And last year I completely changed the theme of my Christmas tree and I needed to get quite a bit of ornaments because we had nothing on our tree last year. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got and then that will probably be it for this video. All right, I'm not gonna sit here and look weird and creepy holding up each thing for you guys just to save you a little bit of cringe, but um, I got these florals for that base where those rust florals are now in my living room. I thought that these would fill that out really nicely and look really pretty there. And sorry, I'm trying to make sure everything's in frame, but they just have little pine cones on them and they're just a really pretty green color and I thought that they would look really nice in there. And I'm just gonna pull things out in the bags that they're in. So it might not be in order. Um, these little bell ornaments I got for the tree and they actually jingle, which is kind of cool. And these are the last white ones that I found. They have silver as well, but I really liked the white ones. And then I loved, and sorry for the glare, but I loved these red sweater balls and I got them in white too. I just think that they're so pretty for a Christmas tree. And then, oh, I got some red, red, bleh, I cannot talk today. I got some red candlesticks for my candle holders that I have in the living room. What else here? Oh, these are the white sweater balls. That I was talking about and I hope everything is focusing my camera has been uh... oh wait these ones jingle I don't think these do oh that's so cool <laughs> I'm such a dork um I got these florals originally I got them for my coffee bar because I was gonna do this whole vision in my head, but I decided to go a different route with that. So I'm probably going to use these for like the tear tray and just add like little pops of greenery here and there throughout the house. I like to buy stuff like this and pick them apart. It's a great way to save money instead of buying a bunch of little picks. And then I also got these ornaments for the tree. They're just like the galvanized metal and then they have red berries and some greenery on top. I thought those were so cute. Um, I thought these were cool. They have a bunch of different animals, but these are just little deer. Again, sorry for the glare, but I think they're made out of cardboard. So I'm not sure how well they'll hold up, but for $2, you can't really beat it. And then these are little candy canes. Now I forgot to tell you guys the prices on everything. I apologize. Um, pretty much all of the set of ornaments from what I can remember were like $12 a piece. So these were $14.99, so roughly that, but they were all half off. So I probably spent $7 each little thing. And then these were $9.99 and they're just little candy canes. Again, half off. I went on Halloween and everything was 50% off. And I was shocked at how many people were in there shopping for Christmas. It's pretty funny. Now I got a new tree topper. We have like a gold star that Tim's mom gave us, but I just don't think it goes with anything anymore. And last year I did a bow, but I wanted to go back with the star on the top. And I love the sweater detailing on this. I'm pretty sure Kaylin Cash got this as well. Um, from what I remember. You wanna come in here? Okay, close the door, I don't want the kitties in. Um, these are just the same what ones doing, mommy? that I showed you before. I'm showing everybody some stuff that I got. Yes. Yes. Yay. I got this sign. It says, until all a good night. 
I'm gonna put this above my coffee bar. I cannot wait for you guys to see what I have planned for that. It's gonna be. What are you doing, mommy? Let so me get this stuff. Yeah, baby. And then I don't know what happened to this box, but I got a pack of three wreaths from Walmart the other day. Hobby Lobby didn't really have anything like this, and I think that this is a good deal. So, okay. Anyways, that is gonna be it for this video today, right? You say hi. Hi. What's your name? Savannah. Savannah. <laughs> if you guys are new around here, this is my two-year-old daughter, Savannah. I don't really like to show my kids on camera a whole lot, but you can say hi, right? Sure. I know you see the star. Uh -huh. Anyways, you guys, that is going to be it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Say bye.